You f***ing idiot, I'm trying to call you from tomorrow. Can't you see my call, you b***? That was a real voicemail a scammer left me. During the call, you can start to tell that he's getting really pissed off. This even happens in the voicemails that he ends up leaving me. So I want to break it down. Here are the steps of how he got here. Step 1. Calling him the wrong name. The scammer goes by Alex, but I called him Alvin the entire time. It's Alex Thomas. You are forgetting every time. Step two, we're gonna send money to the wrong scammer. Okay, just to be clear, guys, I'm not actually sending money to anyone, scammer or anybody. It's all part of the plan, okay? I'm okay, supposed to be sending a parcel to Microsoft. Are you kidding me, sir? Are you are you are you joking with me or what? And step three, some good old-fashioned trolling. So I told you not to press on accept. Correct. You don't understand English. I, 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 are you are you playing with me? So I do. I told you not to press on accept, right? Are you mad or what? And for some context, this guy calls me over 50 times, only to end up rage quitting. But not before he poured me a nice cold glass of scammer tears. <sighs> Let's get into it. Thank you for calling Northern 360. My name is Alex. How may I help you? So this is your typical refund scam, and I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but the scammer's name is Alex, and he's trying to steal 31000 bucks from me. Now, as the first step in trying to make him really rage, I'm going to call him by Alvin and see how he reacts. Yeah, Mr. Wilson, this is Alex Thomas, the banking officer. Alvin Austin, Thomas. Today. It's Alex Thomas. Oh. Write down my name. It is Alex Thomas. Okay, Alvin Thomas. If you remember, <laughs> from from Norton, sir, from Norton. Okay. You are forgetting every time. And then on top of that, we're going to take you to the part where he's having me put in information into the computer, and he's just begging me not to hit enter. And of course, to rile him up, we will hit enter over and over again. Yeah, so you need to type your full name there, right? And see, sir, I told you after you put your name, you don't need to press the enter button, right? So once well, you, you finish, just wait. Just wait. Don't press any enter button. All right? And okay. see, again and again, you are typing the enter button. I told you, you cannot use any delete or any backspace button, right? So why are you pressing the enter button after typing your details? So I have to do this whole thing again? Yes. Alright. I put it in. See, again you press the enter button. Again you have pressed the enter button. Did you understand what I am saying to you or not? Well, what is the issue? I put my name in. See, after typing your name, you have pressed the enter button. I told you not to press the enter button, right? So type your zip code now and don't press the enter button after that. What have you done? I put three four two three zero. And after that, did you press the enter? Yes. So you don't have to do that. It will take automatically. You don't have to do that. When I am saying that you don't have to press enter, then why are you pressing enter from yourself? Loss of memory. Sorry? Loss of memory. You are very lost, I think. So make sure you don't press enter now. Oh, I, I was trying to hit shift. So why did you press enter then? After that, why are you pressing the enter? I don't understand that. It, you don't have to do that. Do you understand that? You don't have to press enter. Again and again, I'm telling you the same thing that this is a Norton Live Banking Server. Okay. Right? You cannot press the enter button on. You cannot make any kinds of mistakes. Put the dollar sign and 310. You need to put 310.00. Oh, I can't see my screen now. Okay, what can you see on the screen? Um, it says 31,000. Are you serious? You have put 31,000 there. No, I put 310. Oh my God. This is the reason why I was telling you not to make any kinds of mistakes from the very, very long time. I wasn't making a mistake, I was just helping you. So how come, see, how, see, this is your help, right? You can see, 
31,000, is this what you are helping me? I will lose my job because of this help for you. You're going to lose your job now? You don't think so? You you just look on your bank, right? Check your bank. Did you receive any money? 31,000. Just check. My checking says 37,000. And my, oh, wait, now my screen went away. Your screen went away? Yeah, it keeps going away at these opportunistic moments because my savings said like $400 in it. Now my savings says yeah. 31,000. Look, look on your statement. Look on your statement. I want you to look on your statement on the middle of your screen. Yeah, it says 31,000 refund security. This is the amount which has got credited in your bank account just because of your one mistake. Okay, well, I, I'm tired of making mistakes. Mistakes? No, these aren't mistakes. This is a calculated game plan, guys. I've already been calling him the wrong name. We've been trolling him a good bit. And now there's going to be another scammer that is going to steal his bounty. I'm going to be sending the wrong scammer the money. I have a question, though. I'm okay, supposed to be sending a parcel to Microsoft for a security deposit. Are you kidding me, sir? No. Are you kidding me? No. I think so that you are kidding with me, right? H how do you know about the box? Because I have to send a safety deposit box to Microsoft. I've already told you this. Before you do that, you have to do it, the, this one, the 30 term 1000, right? Just go to your bank once you withdraw the cash. Say hello to me, I'm holding a line for you, all right? And this is only going to increase his rage level, his worry, his panic, and he ends up giving me an address which I can now give over to law enforcement to help other people. So I want you to leave your house, go to the parking of the FedEx, and I'll send you, I'll send you the address over there, okay? Once you reach the parking, call me back. Okay. Uh, we're in the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important we get to this point. It's a very big win, and we got the address. Looks like we got a nice little apartment complex. See, he's calling a bunch now. All right, so we're we're at day two, and um, I've been talking to this guy kind of on and off on my VM, and he's been typing on my notepad all night and all morning, and he even called me like 50 times on my Google Voice. I feel like we've got him exactly where we want him. He's super desperate. So I can kind of say and do whatever I want at this point. So what I've done is the scammer that I introduced as another scammer, I told Alex that I actually sent the money to him. So the guy tricked me into sending him the money. And then on top of that, the scammer is now saying that he's Alex's boss. And when you kind of incorporate those two things, it brings their level of rage just to another stratosphere. Yeah, this is Alex. What's the passcode? What passcode do you want? Your boss gave me a passcode for if any time someone called me. What is your, the passcode? Listen to me, right? Yesterday you spoken to me, right? Not to my boss. They are not my boss. Who told you that they are my boss? He did. No, did you cancel the transfer or not? He told me I needed to send it to um, your to your financial person in over to yesterday, Houston, Texas. Yes. No, what address did they give you? He gave me an address in Texas to give it to. They are the fraudster. You have sent the money to a wrong person. How? He is your boss. It's not a see, fraud. I see, anybody can say that they are my boss, right? I told you that I am going to call you. Why don't you wait for my call yesterday? Why you didn't wait for my call yesterday? Because they called me from the same... It looked like the same number as yours. What was the name of the person? Uh, your boss or... Who, the person who said that he is my boss? Yeah, he, he is your boss. His name is Michael Grace. Michael Grace? Yes. And can, do you have his number? A phone number of his? I'd have to dig through the mountain of phone calls you gave me to find his number. Oh my God, you have done a very, see, they already took your money and they ran away. They didn't call you. I called you more than 50 times since yesterday. Right, I don't I know, know why I you were not. I lost charge what about on my yesterday? phone battery because you kept calling it. I, my battery died. I was, you know what, you know what? Yesterday I was keep calling you and you was not answering my phone. Why is that? Because I was doing the work that they required from me. Okay, Beta. So, 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 listen. You don't have to disconnect me. Otherwise, they will call you again and they will tell you that they are my boss and they will take money from you. Okay, hold on. There's a, any desk connection request on my phone hold on let me accept on that. your mobile phone hold on one second okay it's it's good now did you press on accept 
Yes, I did. So I do. I told you not to press on accept, right? Are you mad or what? What you said? I thought you said press on accept. I told you not to press on accept, right? Hello. I thought you said, "Are you pressing accept?" I said, "Yes." And then no. you said, "Yes." So then I hit yes. I can't no. move my. No. Okay. You do one thing. You do one thing. You switch off your mobile. Switch off your mobile. Okay. And switch it back on. Switch it off and switch it back on. Okay. And talk. <laughs> that would mean I have to hang up on you, you idiot. Hello. Yeah. Hello. This side, Wilson. Okay, now log into your bank, please. Oh, wait, hold on, on a second. Computer. My screen, hold on. Oh, my phone screen is gone. That is, leave it. Leave your phone screen. Log into your bank on your computer. So I told you not to press on accept, right? Correct. You don't understand English? I do. Are you joking? Are you playing with me? Kidding with me? Again, no, I'm not. If you ask me that one more time, I'm hanging up. Are they controlling your mobile phone? Yeah, hold on. Hold Hello? on a second. Hello, this side, Wilson. Idiot. Hello? Yeah, Hello? this side, Wilson. Yeah, can you hear me? Why did you hang up the call? I didn't. I went to the other you line because the uh, your boss was calling. You don't answer my call. Don't answer my boss call. All right? You talk to me. Okay. Can you give me? Can you so give me his number? He is your boss, though. Give me his number. I know, but he is your boss. No, he's not my boss, right? Do you have any Dex app on your Motorola phone? Yeah, it says Michael Grace, Alex's boss, in parentheses. So listen, right now you don't need to talk to any bosses. You need to talk to me only, all right? So you're admitting that he is your boss? No, he is not my boss. I don't know who is he. Here's the thing. Yes, he told me on. that he called you. He said you were a fresher, that you were an opener or something. And that he needed to Fresher opener. Yes, and that you are, are you are you are you joking with me or what? No. I, I, are you are you playing with me? No. So are you no, a fresher? You can see... Are you a fresher or whatever he said you were? No, uh, my name is Alex. You know that who Correct. am I, right? And you work with you work for Michael Grace and he said he's a senior yes. and you're a fresher. Is that right? No, we don't know about him, right? What he is doing, we don't know about him at all. Okay. So now, are you ready to go to your bank? To do what? To generate a cashier check. Hold on, I just got a text. It says, do not send the check. We are coming to your house. What? Is that a threat? Give me the rest of the money now or else. What? Or else what? I don't know. It just says dot, dot, dot. Will you tell me what's going on here? From which number? From which number you have received the text message? Give me that number. You just wait. I'm I'm calling on that number. Okay, fine. All right, guys. So here's the plan. We're kind of at the close to the finish line, and the scammer is just fed up with me. So he wants to call the supposed other scammer, the name of Michael Grace. And he's just going to get me on the phone, and I'm going to continue to troll. That's part of this game plan to get him upset. Is troll him by calling him Randy Laura. Now in English, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just a name, but in Hindi, it's a derogatory term. When you put both of those together, it's going to make him very upset. This is Michael Grace. Who's this? And who are you? Um, I work with Microsoft. You are Microsoft? Yes. And may I know the reason that why you are talking to Mr. Wilson? He's my customer. Um, no, I'm had... his son. You're his son? I told him yes. not to call you. Because he's, he's been getting, me. here's the issue. And what is your name? Your name, uh, hold on, I have it written down. It's, uh, is it, it's Randy Lauda? That's your name? Yes. Okay. Yes. Can I call you Mr. Randy or do I call you Mr. Randy Lauda or what do I, what do I call you? You can call anything. Okay. Whatever Mr. you want. Mr. Randy. So he got into some trouble with these hackers, Mr. Lauda. And no. Oh, he locked me out. He locked me out of the computer. Siski, he's trying to siski me now. He's trying to siski me. Oh, this is so sweet. He's trying to siski me now. This guy just can't fathom that all this has happened to him. And he's going to continue to call me up and leave some hilarious voicemails. You're going to want to listen to it because it is the ultimate scammer rage. Hey guys, I want you to listen to this. 
Yeah. Junior, can you put on the distation? Listen to the scammer right here. Okay. Oh, it's a scammer. Okay. All right. Uh, which one? One. All right. Please answer my call. This is Alex from Norton. Right. I want to talk to you. Why are you not answering my call? <laughs> if you can hear my voice, man. Answer my call, please. You can hear my voice, man. Dude, he's eating his mic like he's in a god lobby. <laughs> That's awesome. Are oh, the other two. ones voicemails too? Yep. Two. Oh god, okay. Let's, let's, play it, play it. let's go. Sir, this is Alex. I'm trying to call you from tomorrow, right? <laughs> from tomorrow. You can hear my voicemail, answer my call. I need to speak to you. Why are you not answering my call? <laughs> he's right. like a he's like a desperate guy. Yeah. He's just trying to get a date with a girl. He's like, please answer my call, ma'am. Okay, yeah. This is the final of the trilogy. Right. Yes. You f- <laughs> Are you trying to steal money from us? Oh. Answer my call. Classic. Are you trying to steal money from us? No, I believe it's the other way around. I love the escalation. Yeah. It it's progressively just gets more aggressive. Yeah. It's so good. Don't get scammed. <laughs>